What's going on my people? It's Tony from Food Sesh and we're back at it with another one. So you know that it's only right guys that I drove down to Jersey Mike's to try this new classic pastrami sandwich that just came out. Now I wasn't sure if it was new because it wasn't labeled as new like they usually do. Like the last sandwich they came out with was that portobello steak one and that one was labeled new when it first came out but this one wasn't so i had to do a little digging just to see if this was a sandwich that came back or was it a new one so after i went online i did find out that this is a new sandwich for jersey mike's now the pastrami sandwich comes in classic and it also comes in chipotle. It comes with onions, it comes with mustard, it comes with pickles, and it comes with that pastrami. I got it on regular white bread. You can get it on different breads if you want, and you can also get the chipotle variation. But me, myself personally, I don't like chipotle. So I said, you know what? It's only right that I go with the classic. So I have it right here, guys. Jersey Mike's hooks you up with the nice bags. They got the little story in the back right there. If you want to pause that and read that right there. Now this thing is nice and warm. I'm only a couple of minutes from where I picked it up. I'm actually parked in the Forest Hills neighborhood. If you know Forest Hills, where all these big mansions are at. So here it is right here, guys. I went with the regular. This is around 11 bucks before taxes. And for the drink, I decided to go with Stubborn Classic Root Beer. Now I've never had this root beer. I don't know if this is a Jersey Mike's exclusive, but I'll give you guys a quick score on this one too when I wash some of this sandwich down. So let's get right into it, guys. Let's unwrap this bad boy and let's see what's good. Let's just tear it open. Cause I'm gonna use this as a tray. In case it gets messy, it'll get all over the bag. You see guys? So if you're gonna eat it in your car, break the bag open like that, you just put it in your lap, and you could go in, any juices or anything is gonna fall on the paper, you already know. Mmm, this already smells amazing. Now, I don't really go to Jersey Mike's much, and the only sandwich that I normally get is the Italian, that's one of my favorite sandwiches, and I have tried the Philly cheesesteak one, that one is pretty good, but the one that I wanna try after this is the Mike's Chicken Philly. So let me know in the comments if you've tried that one, and if you want me to review it, because I think I'm going to review it anyway. That one looks good. So let's see what this looks like, guys. Mm, this is looking good so far. Put the paper inside. You know I got to get this thumbnail. It's only right. Let's get it. I'm back, guys. I got my thumbnail. And that's what the sandwich looks like right there. And first of all, it's got a good amount of weight. A piece of pastrami just fell off. Let's see what it looks like. That's what a piece looks like right there. Looks like pretty decent pastrami, to tell you the truth. Check that out, guys. You can see like the ridges and the lines. This looks like it's quality pastrami, but there's only one way to find out. Let's give it a quick taste test. Cheers. Mmm. That's flavorful. Mmm. Mmm. That was a good sign, but you already know. The new classic pastrami from Jersey Mike's. Big bite. Cheers. After taking the first bite of the classic pastrami sandwich from Jersey Mike's, I gotta admit, it was pretty flavorful. I taste the mustard, I taste the pickles, I taste the pastrami. The onions definitely add an extra layer of flavor. And I would definitely suggest that you leave the onions because it just gives it that nice oniony flavor that complements the pastrami. The bread is nice and soft, but now let's wash that bite down with this stubborn classic root beer. See what's good with it, guys. Cheers. Pretty decent, not as good as A&W or Barks, but if you're looking for some root beer in Jersey Mike's, you can get this brand right here. I'll give this one an average 6.5 out of 10. So now let's get back into the sandwich, guys. So I ended up taking another bite so you could see what it looks like in there. They do hook you up with a good amount of pastrami. You got that Swiss cheese right there. You got those crinkly pickles. They definitely give you a liberal amount of those. And they load you up with the white sweet onions, which don't taste bad at all. They actually go really, really good with the sandwich. So I'm going to take another bite, guys, just to see if I can get some more of the flavors. Because you know, in the beginning, it's mostly bread. So now it looks like this bite, I'm going to be able to get most of the ingredients together. Check that out, guys. You know we got to go in. Let's get it. Cheers.
I'm back after taking that second bite and I definitely got to taste all the flavors. I got to taste more of the mustard, more of the pickles, more of the onions, and definitely more of that classic pastrami. And I gotta admit guys, I'm pleasantly surprised. It's pretty decent pastrami. Of course, me living in New York, I'm spoiled with a lot of delis that have pastrami sandwiches. And of course, this is not gonna compare to Cat's Deli or Ben's Best, but just keep in mind, this is an $11 sandwich and Cat's Deli sandwiches are about 30 bucks a piece. Let me know in the comments if you want me to hit up Cat's. I have been there. It's just been several years since I've been there. I think the last time I went there, sandwich was like 22 bucks and I believe now it's around 30. But that'll be for another day, guys. So let me know in the comments if you want me to hit up Cat's. But this right here, guys, is a banger. Check out that meat. Check out the crinkly pickles. And as you can see, the bread, everything is looking kosher, guys. So I'm gonna take one more bite, guys. And then I'm gonna come back with my score to let you guys know whether the classic pastrami sandwich from Jersey Mike's is a hit or miss. Cheers, guys. I'm back, guys after finishing the Jersey Mike's classic pastrami sandwich. And I am so full, guys. I'm glad I didn't get chips or anything else. And I think I'm good until dinner time because that sandwich filled me up. And one thing that I gotta say right off the bat is that it was decent pastrami for a fast food establishment. I think that the pastrami is gonna be pretty consistent from location. So the sandwich that I got, yours should look similar or almost identical. That's the one thing about the fast food spots they mastered consistency when you go to these mom and pop shops you might not get the same sandwich every single time you go but with jersey mike's i feel like it's going to be pretty consistent so as far as score on the classic pastrami sandwich from jersey mike's i'm gonna have to give it an above average 7.9 out of 10 and for me it's a hit if I'm in the mood for a pastrami sandwich and I don't feel like going to one of these delis that are gonna charge me probably a lot more, I'll drive down to Jersey Mike's and pick this one without hesitation, guys. So for me, it's definitely 100% gonna be a hit and my score stands at above average 7.9 out of 10. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the review and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.